What's up fish friends and welcome back to our YouTube channel Casual Reef Keeping. Please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and definitely hit that like button if you like what you're going to get to see. Today I wanted to get into real quick uh, my experience with the Neptune Systems Insider program again um, with the MXM, the Mobius Expansion Module. Um, it was honestly pretty uneventful. It was plug and play, as some of you may have seen by now with setting it up for yourself. And now I can control some Ecotech products. In my case, the only one I was able to control is the uh, Vectra return pump, which was neat because now I can do some things for my power outage programming, which you're about to see, instead of shutting it off, defaulting to another pump, or this, that, or the other thing. I can now lower its uh, flow to conserve my battery backup system all through the Apex. So we'll get into it real quick. I'll show you some screen recordings of how I programmed that. And you'll see how uh, how simple it was. Honestly, it, it's really simple. We're gonna go through setting up a virtual outlet. It was a piece of cake. I'll try not to uh, bore you guys, but this will definitely be a quick one. All right, so let's get started here in Neptune's Apex Fusion, we're going to expand our settings and click on the outlets. Well, outlet symbol it is for the outputs. And we're going to go ahead here and create a virtual output. This is what I'm going to call is power loss. And this is going to be the signal to anything else that I lost power. After it pops up, we're going to hit the refresh. As you'll see, it is not here that confused me the first time around got to go back up to the top we'll hit refresh that's why they give you that nice button and now you will see it on the list so this virtual outlet we're going to use i'm going to enable logging just if i want to keep track of power outages i'll have the log there it's going to start in the off state and we're going to tell it that if the apex loses power then switch to the on state. So that's if power apex off for one minute, then on. Pretty straightforward as far as outlet codes go. After you've written the configuration, we're going to go back to the dashboard and you'll see we have a new tile available. That new tile will be this virtual outlet we just created. And you can see I'm not using a bunch of things, but I'll scroll all the way in. There's my nice new tile. I'm going to bring it right top and center for the time being because that's what we're focused on today. Now, what I want to use this for is the Vectra that's being controlled by the MXM. I'm not using their fancy scheduler. I'm just using a simple code mode. And this is what I had originally put in. And the problem with that is the Vectra isn't capable of using pump profiles, but the MXM won't allow you to just set a percentage. I'm not sure why that is the case, but that's the way it's set up. So the recommendation from Neptune was to replace this with a virtual outlet and then the pump speed. It can't use the Apex power by itself like most people would do on a normal outlet. So we're going to delete this and replace it with a trigger from that virtual outlet. If the virtual outlet is on, then go to pump speed 25. So if that output is on, then 25%. And that's it. I'm going to turn on the log as well on this one, and we're going to send it. Now we'll go back to the dashboard. And now you can use this same virtual outlet for anything else you want to turn off, in my case, in an event of a power outage. So I'm going to make sure that my T5s are using this code. Since 
I don't need my T5 lighting in a power outage. So we're going to jump in there right after that's that's my override output you're seeing there the if output t5 off so that's another virtual outlet i'm using so that my wife has a button to turn off the t5s if they are bothering her eyes if she's got a migraine flare up so we're going to add that if output power loss just like we did on the vectra we're going to put that in here for the t5s So that is the virtual outlet method for controlling power loss. And now I'm going to go through and I'm going to make sure everything I have in there set up is set to do it that same way for consistency. I think it's a little more synchronized and it's easier to test with the virtual outlet. So I'm going to go in and you'll see my gyres here were already programmed using the, we'll call it the older method, the power apex off. And we're just going to replace that with the same code we've been using for the virtual outlet. I am gonna type it out here again, but you'll see after you can just highlight it. In this case, I'm gonna highlight, delete it, but after you can highlight, copy, and paste it in every device you want to do the same thing to make your life easier. You don't have to actually type it out over and over again. You'll also notice I didn't use equal before, but it will automatically put that in if you don't. So now we're gonna send it. And I'm pretty much done here off camera. I'll go back through and make sure everything else is consistent by uh, copying and pasting. All right, guys, I hope you learned something there. I definitely had a good time and a good experience with the Neptune Systems Insider program. The MXM just works. It's, it's a simple device. It's just a communication bridge and it gets the job done for me. And we'll see what other uh, updates we'll have in store. Don't forget to always have a backup plan. Uh, luckily, we did have an outage within the last two weeks. And that battery backup system performed exactly as intended. And my system didn't skip a beat. Everything shut off as it's supposed to. Load shed. The tank kept uh, jogging along. And then when the power returned, everything kicked back on like nothing ever happened. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe. See you next time.